The 49ers beat the Seahawks 33-13. Brock Purdy, 21 of 30, 209 yards of touchdown. Did have a pick six. Ball carry him off C-Mac's hand. C-Mac, 114 rush yards, two touchdowns. All the teams that won their quarterback very played well. really well today. They made some throws that were very, very impressive. Uh, Green Bay was very, very impressive. We're going to get to mm-hmm. them a little later. But let's talk about the Seahawks and the 49ers. They went out there, the, uh, uh, the 49ers did, got the ball, goes right down the field, yep. scored touchdown, and they didn't mm-hmm. look back. Um, so what was some of your takeaways? All right, my first game? takeaway, forget stats, forget what the 49ers did today as a whole, as far as the game is concerned. The 49ers team collectively is almost unfair when everybody is healthy. Debo, Ayuk, mm-hmm. yeah. Trent Williams, then on defense, that's secondary, Javius Ward. It, everything else yeah. they got going on, they had everybody in goddamn clamps. And it's, it's to, to, to me, uh, in comparison for me, I'm not even a basketball fan, but I remember hearing all the gripes about people, let's say, uh, comparison to the Golden State Warriors when they had Kevin Durant. Where it was almost mm-hmm. fair from a obviously now from an offensive standpoint, but also the defense and just as good. So when you think about the 49ers, for me specifically, when I think about the 49ers, every team in the NFL has an identity. Either your offense is great or your defense is great. It's never both. But when it comes to the goddamn 49ers on both sides of the ball, they are equally as yoked and it's almost unfair. If they don't win the Super Bowl this year, then something is wrong. They look, they look really mm-hmm. good. They work really, man. Purdy, obviously, you said he was 21 for 30 for 29 yards. He had a TD, uh, unfortunate, unfortunate interception. Debo Samuels, De- yeah, De- Debo high. Samuels was an animal, man. He was the an animal today and yeah. picked up where he left off. After he obviously he's been back a few games due to injury that he had. I don't like the fact they didn't use Brandon Ayuk enough, enough today, and uh, he was he was kind of left out. He had a touchdown. I, I I like to consider that. I call that garbage time. I, I consider that garbage time. Uh, other than that, man. This that, that's crazy. It just, it's, I, don't, I don't even know what to say about the 49ers because I see no weakness in that team unless people are injured. When people are injured, then yeah. it doesn't it doesn't look too good. It doesn't fare off fare off as well as it does when everybody is healthy. Well, you know that the great equalizer come playoff time is injuries mm-hmm. or turnovers, and as long as they take care of them, and and the game probably got a little closer than what it should have been, considering that they uh they had that mm-hmm. pick six right at right at the uh midway through the third quarter, and you know Seattle missed a yeah. field goal right before the half, um that that really hurt them. But when you look at the 49ers, the way they can run the football now with Christian McCaffrey, um you mentioned mm-hmm. Debo, George mm-hmm. Kittle, uh, Brandon Ayuk. Uh, C Mac in the passing game, Debo, uh, offensive line is solid. Yeah, and, and, and per, when Purdy plays mm-hmm. like this, because the thing is with with him, and, and if you watch him, you've got to make him mm-hmm. uncomfortable. You've got to make him make every throw, mm-hmm. every possession matter. If you let him get out and mm-hmm. he can relax, because man, that throw to mm-hmm. Ayuk with that half roll and throw back that deep bang, that was nice. Man, Ocho, you can't walk mm-hmm. a ball. Better to mm-hmm. a player yeah. than what he did from twenty five yeah. yards away. That was a gr- that was that semi mm-hmm. roll. That was an unbelievable throw. Great catch. Get the ball into the end zone. But you're right. I thought I thought uh, uh, Kyle Shanahan did a great job of mm-hmm. calling the game. Run, sprinkle in Christian mm-hmm. McCaffrey on the arrow route out of the backfield. Uh, run some more. Hey, we're gonna toss mm-hmm. it to Debo. The 49ers went in there, and that's what you do on a short week against a division mm-hmm. opponent. You go in. You get them down early. You mm-hmm. take care of business, and now we got ten. Now we got we don't play right. for ten days. So guess what? You're off. I understand. You probably was away mm-hmm. from your families on Thanksgiving, but guess what? You got Friday, Saturday, and oh, Sunday yeah. off, Ocho. Most definitely. Hey, you know, so you probably go have Thanksgiving. Most of these players will probably have when Thanksgiving home, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. But guess what? Now, hey, baby, hey, I got two mm-hmm. days off. I see y'all Monday. Kyle probably have to do it like Mike. You'll probably come in Monday by noon, get your run in, get mm-hmm. your lift in, watch yeah. the tape. Hey, we're getting ready, getting ready Listen, for next they, week. They ready. They ready and they deserve it. They deserve, they deserve to have those days off. And obviously the defense, the defense had four, yeah. they had six sacks tonight. Bosa again, two yeah. sacks. I mean, what, what they're what they're doing, man. I just yeah, hard grave. Hard, hard grave as well. What, what they're doing on both sides of the ball is commendable. It's commendable. And most of the time I've seen Shanahan continuously, continuously have great success in the offseason. Great success. I mean, off season. Great success in season, but come playoff time, can they still keep this 
momentum going where both sides of the ball, they're playing exceptionally well. And you mentioned about making Brock Purdy uncomfortable. But when I watch him in the pocket, he looks so relaxed. He looks so poised. He looks like someone that belongs there and he's been doing it for a very long time. So the rush doesn't phase him. The blitzing doesn't phase him. And he always has those outlets for him to make sure they stay efficient offensively. Yeah, they look good. They look good. And that's what you want to see. Um, I think right now, um, I think it's the Mm -hmm. Eagles. When you really look at it, we'll talk about this after we get through, but the Eagles and the 49ers, um, and and followed by the Cowboys seem to be the cream ah, of the crop in the that, NFC. Give, I hear you. We're talking. We're talking about seem, that. Seem, it seems to be the seem, seems to be the cream of the crop mm-hmm. right now. Uh, the Eagles they haven't been as as dominating last as they year, were right. last year. But all I know, Ocho, is they find a Every way to time. win the ball games. And at the mm-hmm. end of the day, when you cannot, when you don't play your best mm-hmm. football, and you still find mm-hmm. ways to win, as long as you're not making the mm-hmm. mistakes, because that's what that's what. Hey, look, we're not running the football as well. We're not. But as long as you're not mm-hmm. turning it over, you can, hey, a block here, miss block, hey, we get this block, we got a, instead of a five-yard mm-hmm. run, we got a 25-yard run. Instead of a 14-yard run, we got a 20-yard mm-hmm. touchdown. Those are things that you yeah. can overcome. But I like the way they're playing. But the 49ers, the 49ers look really impressive today.